All right, Judy says, how do you recognize a scammer on a dating site? I'll make it simple. You jump on a FaceTime within three communications. Let me repeat that. How do you recognize a scammer? You do a FaceTime with them within three communications. So first communication goes back and forth. Second communication goes back and forth. By the time you give out your phone numbers, you arrange a Zoom call, a FaceTime call. That's the best and fastest way because scammers who live in Nigeria aren't going to get on FaceTime with you. Those scammers that are using my photograph, and by the way, my photograph gets stolen hundreds of times a week, my photographs are on hundreds of dating apps. I can't tell you how often every week I get an email from somebody saying, some guy named Tim who's 66 years old is using your pictures. Folks, get on a FaceTime right away. That's the simplest way to avoid a scammer because you can't, you know, by the way, typical things are they're oftentimes widowers and they're oftentimes traveling, but a legitimate widower could be traveling. You get on a FaceTime right away, and then you don't give them any attention until you actually get on FaceTime. That's the best way, the best way to avoid being scammed, not avoiding a scammer, but being scammed. And never, ever, ever give money to a guy over the internet that you haven't met. I can't tell you how many women have given away tens and thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars to men who are scam artists. So... All right, let's go swimming. 